Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Uh, today we're going to be doing our first steps into the Matter Overdrive mod, which is basically turning yourself into an Android. Uh, there's a lot involved with this mod, and it can be a lot of fun, so I will be breaking this uh, coverage of it into, into several different tutorials, but this first one is going to show you just the basics of how to get started, how to turn yourself into Android, and, and basically keep yourself alive. Um, if you find this video helpful, please be sure to click like. Uh, but most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. All right, so right off the bat, to turn yourself into an Android, there are some components that you need. Um, as you can see in the Matter Overdrive, we do at Matter in the JI. You'll see there's a lot of different stuff involved with this, but right up here you'll see a red pill, a blue pill, and a yellow pill. It's the Matrix. These are references to that movie. Red pill will turn you into an android, a blue pill will turn you back into your normal self, and a yellow one will reset your android abilities. We'll talk more about that later. Now, to make a red pill, you need several components. Start over here. So a red pill needs a red stone carrot, lithium dust, and, a red, and that gives you a red pill. Blue one is a blue carrot, same lithium dust, that gives you a blue pill. A golden apple and lithium dust gives you your yellow pill. Now, to get this lithium dust can be a couple of steps. Because if you look up lithium dust in the JEI, it's going to pull up this white version of it. You'll see it doesn't show the one that I have in there, which is a slightly off color. This lithium dust is just a regular lithium that's been crushed. So we need to get a hold of some of the lithium here that you see which is actually from a different mod but not just craftable or it is craftable but needs some components so let's talk about those first thing we're going to need is a chemical oxidizer that is one dynamic tank two basic control circuits four enriched alloy one basic gas tank and one personal chest that'll give you your chemical oxidizer next is a chemical crystallizer that's going to be a steel casing two more basic gas tanks four basic control circuits, and two atomic alloy. The third component we're going to need is going to be a combiner. That's going to be steel frame, two cobblestone, four reinforced alloy, and two elite control circuits. And those are going to give us these three machines right here that I already have set up to power. Uh, their RF power is being powered by uh, solar power way over there using wireless. If you have any questions about how to use that, there are tutorials for that on my channel. So I've gotten it already, and I've got some lithium dust the white lithium dust that I mentioned a moment ago. Now, to get that, you just take regular lithium, put it in a crusher. That's the easiest way to get a hold of it. But now we need to turn it into something a little more useful. So what we have here is, of course, the chemical oxidizer is first. What's going to happen is it's going to convert the lithium, let me find it, the lithium dust into liquid lithium. That then is going to feed into our crystal, the crystal riser. You set them next to next, it'll go automatically in. You do not have to connect them with any type of piping. But it's going to feed in that liquid lithium and then convert it into the type of lithium we need to make our pills. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll stick our lithium dust in here. And it is creating liquid lithium. That liquid lithium is coming into this tank here. And as that fills, it is being converted into the type of lithium that we need. Right there, lithium dust. It's a lithium dust from the mechanism mod. Whereas if we look here, this lithium dust is from nuclear craft. So it converts it from one into the other. <clears throat> Once we have those, then we go ahead and start making our pills. So I've got some components here. We're going to go to the combiner. In the combiner, which also has to have RF power, we're going to put the red pill at the top, or the red carrot, put the lithium at the bottom. That is going to combine these two items into a red pill. Finish. There we go. We have our red pill. Doing the same thing with a lapis carrot and a lithium dust. It's going to create our blue one. Well, let's go in there. We'll grab ourselves a little bit more. Yeah. Finish. There's our blue pill. And last but not least, we're going to go ahead and throw our golden apple. Oh, I used the wrong golden apple. You actually need an enchanted golden apple. I apologize. We do. <laughs> Let's pull one of those out here. 
apologize. It is a golden apple you need. There we go. So again, it is the correct golden apple. It does have to be the shining golden apple. The regular one does not work. But once we have that, it's going to give us our yellow pill. We have all three of our pills. All right. So the next two things we're going to show how to build are the first couple things you're going to need once you become an Android. And the first one is a charging station. Because instead of eating food to stay alive, you're going to be powered up with electricity. That's going to take one force field emitter, one eye of ender, one dilithium crystal, one redstone repeater, one high capacity battery, another high capacity battery, and a machine casing. You're also going to want an Android station. That's going to be one Android to torso, one Android head, one Android arm, an isolinear circuit MK3, circuit MK2, force field emitter, glowstone dust, redstone dust, and a machine casing. Now, for these Android components, you can get these from killing androids uh, in the nether or any world where they spawn. A lot of times you'll get them out of a mob farm as well if you have one of those. But that's going to give you your Android station. So let's become an Android. We're going to start with the red pill. Now, again, when you scroll over, it says take the red pill and lose what's holding you back. Now, I am doing this in creative. So as I eat the red pill, you'll see that it says booting up. Now, when that gets all the way up to 100%, I will be an Android. Because I'm in creative, I'm just going to turn right into the Android. Normally, if you're in a regular survival world, you will die. And you'll, be, you'll basically reborn as an Android, but you have to walk back over to your grave and pick up everything out of your tombstone. I don't have to do that because I'm in creative. So if yours goes a little bit differently in the regular world, that is why. We're almost at 100% here. Oop, there we go. And normally that's where I would have died and then walked over to my body. But now I am an android. Now, as you can see, I still look the same. Nothing real differently there in my visual appearance. But as you can see in the top left-hand corner up there, you'll see I have a life is at 90%, power is at 100%, and speed is at 100%. Now, those are my new stats. You'll notice down above my hotbar, there's no longer any food or armor spaces because now I am just basically using just Android abilities. So I've put down those two components we were talking about a moment ago. There's the charging station, which is right there, and our Android station. Now, the Android station itself does not need any type of power, so you don't have to connect it to anything, but the charging station does. So again, I have a charge being wirelessly charged from my solar power. Click on the charging station, you'll see that it has a range of eight and it's charged. So, if my battery life up there in the top left hand corner was under 100%, if I had taken damage, going to the charging station will recharge me back up to full. That's simple. This is one of the things you want. This is basically replaces food for you. Now, the Android station itself is one of the most important things you're going to have because when you right click on that, these are your skills and abilities. Now, if it is a whitish blue color here, that means you have enough experience points to activate or turn on that ability. Red is locked because you either have to unlock one before it or you don't have enough experience points to purchase it. These six spaces right here, head, arms, legs, chest, other, and which is a battery space, this is where you can put Android parts that you find. Different Android parts, like we saw earlier, come from different mobs or from the different Androids when you kill them, and they can have different abilities and levels. And by adding those in there, you gain boosts and protection from having those. Now, to choose an ability, I'm going to start with this one here, zero calories. Removes nutritional requirements, experience points 18. If I click on that, I have now activated it. it Use some of my experience, and this is now an ability I have, and it has unlocked this. Now with 12, I can remove the need for oxygen underwater and I don't need to breathe. So if I click on that one, I now have that ability and down here it says enable floating when in the water. Now, I'm not going to turn that one on yet. We're going to go back here and we're going to take a look. There's some night vision nanobots, which is uh, heals would usually use one per second energy, but increases the health by five. So you heal faster. Limb overclocking increases your movement speed. Some of these can be multiplied. So let's say if we click on this, let's start with this one here. I now have that ability. You'll notice that it has a number one there. It says nanobots one of four. I can activate this four times, increasing my ability each time. So a total of four. This also unlocked me to go this direction or down. Now in many of these situations, if you look at this, it says it locks nano armor. This is nano armor. If I was to choose attack boost, I cannot take nano armor. I can only go up or down. It 
locks the opposite one you choose. So be very careful which one you click on. Make sure it's one that you actually want. Now, what happens if you decide you didn't like your spec? You want to change all of this. That's when we go to that yellow pill we were talking about. If we eat our yellow pill, it has reset all of my abilities. Now, you do not get the ex all your experience points back, but you will get back a little. Now I can re-choose and redo again. And you can use the yellow pill as much as you want to respec any time. It's just, again, you're going to have to go out and refarm experience points uh, in order to be able to purchase these abilities and continue to upgrade. But that's going to be it for this video. That's the very basics. The last thing we're just going to touch on real quick is this, the blue pill itself. And when I eat my blue pill, you'll notice that up in the top left, those stats disappeared. I am now back to being myself where I started. So I'm a living creature again, which means I'm back to, I'm going to have heart bars and food bars and all that kind of stuff. Again, you're not seeing them in this right now because I'm in creative, but normally they would be there. But that's the basic introduction to Matter Overdrive. We'll turn you into an Android, give you uh, some instruction on how to get your abilities and how to charge yourself up to stay alive. Um, but uh, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, uh, please be sure to put those down in the comments as well as any suggestions or recommendations you have for other tutorials you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4. Stay tuned for some more parts in this series, which will show some more of the different components available to you um, and more advanced steps involved with at or overdrive. Um, but that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.